We were home, and there were horses everywhere. White horses. They were all white horses. White horses, eh? They were everywhere in the hotel, in the lobby, and the dining rooms. You were awful angry. But people kept giving you money and saying it would be okay. But it wasn't. They just kept bringing more horses in. Well, what happened then? When? In your dream with all the horses in our hotel. I don't know. You're leaving me in a quite a pickle here. Horses stomping around in my hotel, me being angry. Is that all you remember? Just the mom and dad were there. Like they never died. I miss him too, Tommy. Build the houses. Who told you they were going to build houses here? Willie. Willie says, hmm? He says if Madden talks the stockholders into selling this land, they'll build a thousand houses here. <laughs> People like Madden have been trying to buy this land to build on since before you were born. Just like back home in the city. They want to buy our hotel so they can tear it down and build 20 story condominiums. Ah, uh, great balls of fire, boy. I haven't got anything against houses and supermarkets or condominiums, for that matter. I know that people need homes to live in, but not on the land where our hotel stands. Or on this land, other land that looks like this. There ought to be some things in the world just left alone, just like the good Lord made them. Okay? Okay. Your message said urgent. Yes. Well, ever since we detected the object entering our orbit four days ago, it's maintained an OBT of 37.422. Now, in the last hour, it's changed trajectory twice. Three nine point nine nine four. What about the space agency readout I requested? They checked and rechecked. They're absolutely sure. Craft, whatever it is we're monitoring, was not launched by any of the nations on Earth. It's changing trajectory again, sir. Can you tell what's causing the alteration? Delaney? Well, there's a definite heat displacement, sir. It has to be some kind of engine, but it's uneven. It's like the craft is losing power and at the same time using up what power it has left to line up for an Earth entry. Mr. Conrad. Yes? If none of the countries on Earth sent this craft up, does that mean it's a UFO? Well, sir, what I mean is, scuttlebutt around here is that's what you specialize in, why you were sent here. Does the prospect of an unidentified flying object bother you, Sergeant? Better bother someone. The craft has just entered our atmosphere. Apparently, is headed for a landing. Where? It doesn't alter trajectory again. It should land about 600 miles from here, somewhere around Gold Rush, California.
Sheriff's office, Deputy Sweeney here. Got the siren off, Sheriff. out there like 
like some of you have been saying. Don't you know this is just what they'd want you to do? Panic? Now, what I know is the Air Force believes that for some reason that spacecraft was disabled, that it was forced to land here, and that if we're willing to act fast enough in the defense of our country, well, then maybe, just maybe, we can stave off the onslaught of alien creatures until the National Guard gets here. We'll meet you up by the creek. 10-4. All right, fellas. Smitty and Brownie are moving south along the ridge. So if we keep on along this ravine, we should uh, meet them up near Turtle Creek. OK, let's move on up. Well, Mr. Anderson, three hours of searching, you'd think we'd have found something by now, eh? <laughs> Listen, Mr. Anderson, some folks are supposed to meet us here with coffee and donuts. And I sure hate just to go on off and leave them. But what do you have in mind, Sheriff? Well, I thought that if you wouldn't mind being here alone, I'd sure appreciate it if you and Tommy would stay here and wait for them. We should be back in about 30 minutes, no matter what. Well, if there's a chance for donuts and coffee while well, you got yourself a couple of volunteers, wouldn't you say, Tommy? Thanks, Mr. Anderson, Tommy. Now, listen. If anything should happen before we get back, uh, well, you've heard the rumors and what they said about those creatures and what they did to New York and Chicago. If anything should come up, you shoot first and ask questions afterwards. I'll keep that in mind, Sheriff. Thanks. What you laughing at? I was wondering if the Sheriff was all that worried about the donuts and coffee or... What? Or oh, he just figured a couple of city fillers like us was pretty near petered out by now, huh? <laughs> Grandpa, do you really think it was a flying saucer we saw? To tell you the truth, Tommy, I got mixed feelings about that. On the one hand, I hope we haven't been tramping around the woods here for the last three hours of... only a boy. We have no weapons. How many are there of you? 
This is all. This is my family. Dalem. I know you're frightened of us, but believe me, even though we're from another star system, we're very much like you. I'm afraid for my family. We need your help. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? For trusting us. How do you know? Anderson here with my grandson Tommy. We're waiting for the truck with the donuts and the coffee. Who else is with you? Just me and the boy. Something's fishy. I could have swore there were more than two people out there. I don't think he believes you. Was there anything else we can do for you? Seth, he's suspicious. Isn't there anything you can do? Maybe if I, uh... truth? I really don't know. I just tried to plant the thought and it's had to drive away. You shouldn't let Teva do that. She's best at it. My dad probably just got too many electromagnetic forces all jumbled up together. Right. The National Guardsman, will he be okay? Well, sure, they'll be fine as soon as it wears off. But that means they'll be coming right back. We need your help. I think we'd better go. Our cabin is about a mile away. You'll be safer there than down here. My cabin is not much further from here if we can just get across this creek. Without saying, the sooner you leave our Earth, the better, huh? Well, there's nothing we'd like more. But as I said, our ship is damaged and we have to make repairs. How long will that take? Not long at all, once we find the material we need. But that's our problem. We expect to find it in service deposits near where we landed. That was before we landed in the lake. Well, after that happened, I thought we'd find it near the shoreline. Okay, Tommy. What we know of your language, we learned in your radio and television broadcast. But there didn't seem to be much mention of any basic elements or metals in the transmissions we've received. Well, are you sure that it exists here on our planet? Well, we have an abundance at home, and our scanner indicates that your planet is composed very much like our own. We lost you. Ginger, Ginger, what's that? Well, we're not sure, really. We found her on one of the planets we were visiting for our work. She was just a baby then, an orphan, so we've kind of adopted her. We better get moving. <laughs> 
This is Conrad. Conrad, what the devil's going on there? You've ordered out Air Force planes, helicopters, four companies of National Guard, and you've, you've placed the whole county in California under military law. I'm aware of what I've done, but Dave, this time I've got it. We've tracked this craft for four days. I don't want to hear any more, Conrad. I've heard it all before, too many times, and I warned you what was going to happen. I know. I know, one more wild goose chase, one more embarrassment for the agency, and my department doesn't get funded next quarter. After 20 years, I'm kaput, out of business. Just so you know what the stakes are, my friend. Oh, I know the stakes. Let's go. We saw a big meteor shower the first day we landed. Oh, watch what comes out of these caves. Wow, what are they? Psychomites. They're really cute. They love to crawl all over you and tickle. <laughs> and then when you start to laugh, they imitate your laugh. They sound just like you. <laughs> 